sweetness, but I'm not sweetness because I ain't that color. <laughs> what we have for you here is a couple of imitations. I hope you stick around, so I hope it... Um, <laughs> on our vacation. <laughs> Until I uh, really got into those, uh, those punk hats, yes, I have. Um, one of the big imitations that I always enjoyed in years past comes from a TV cartoon character that was my first, my first imitation that I ever made. And it was about 10 years ago, and I decided to continue from there. And maybe I made the wrong trip in the right direction or something. But it's Popeye. Ugh, so you like being at the 1986 Tonsk show, do you? Well, you're wrong, because you shouldn't have been here in the first place. You should have been studying your biochemistry or anatomy or any of that stuff. <laughs> you should have been home eating your Popeye spinach. Because with Popeye spinach, you grow with big muscles. There are his muscles are on his, his uh, forearm, his arm, uh, arm forearm. Uh, I passed it over. <laughs> I just got this hat in the past year. It's uh, my. Thank you. <laughs> it's my. Oh, my foot hat. Uh, maybe a little waiter in the show. Uh, shh, be very, very quiet. Because in a little bit, I'm going to take and try and do a song. If I can get the guy up here to sing Fire with me. You've heard that song before. Oh, my foot's condition of fire. Because he's always looking, looking for that rascally weapon. Mm. What's up, Dad? One of my favorite uh, imitations that I've, I've done on my phone recorder, and thank goodness I don't get a lot of calls anymore. <laughs> I change it every week to, to please everybody. I really didn't get a message on your recorder. Because I didn't think about this one. I, I started with uh, Paul Harvey. Paul Harvey's one of my favorite uh, characters. It goes something like this. Hello, Americans. This is Paul Harvey. Stand by for news. First off, a message from your True Value hardware stores. True Value coast to coast and around the nation. Page two. <laughs> Mecklenburg Duncan. The gloves that fit your hand because your hand is curved. And with those, you can use Neutrogena. No, we aren't supposed to advertise on the air. I use it, and I recommend everybody using it. Well, Harry, good day. <laughs> since, we got, since we got a little extra time on our hands, uh, sounds like a clock in my heart. Um, I want to go ahead and show the Geo Olympics 1986. This is uh, a little uh, preview here. Last year we did Deal Olympics 85 and uh, we got a bunch of crazies from class. We definitely are in the wrong profession. We should have gotten into something funnier and something better than that. What the heck? <laughs> and we have uh, the acts go in accordance, something almost exactly like an Olympics, except we're doing DO type things, uh, like manipulation and things uh, for points. And this year we're kind of getting more into the clinical round, and I'm sorry if some of you don't quite understand the, the humor, but we did some of our cl clinical instructors, and uh, you'll just kind of have to bear with it, just, just laugh along with the rest of us or something. Uh, it, it turned out pretty good this year, and uh, last year's we'll go ahead and show after the break. We'll do this first, we'll show the film, then we'll take an intermission of about 15 minutes, and uh, when we get back, we'll start up some more acts. So, but one, one last thing I want to mention. At the very end of this, when the credits go down, hang on for about five, ten seconds, because there's something that, that judges, uh, there's a little notice, noticeable thing that they put at the end of this, so it's pretty funny. Uh, Joel, uh, let's go ahead and roll that act, please, and watch your monitors.
Olymp has returned, and we've returned too. It's the D-Olympics 1986. Hi, everybody. I'm Ron Schwartz, and I'm representing the junior class. We're going to do it one more time because you asked for it. The D-Olympics 1986, what a fun time we have for you this year. We're going to cut it a little bit because uh, budget cuts have kind of left us with a little bit less time, but no less time in the entertainment and the excellence of performance. What we have here is we're in the beautiful diaphragmatic redome. It's the A.T. Still Memorial Redome. The Kirk's Dome burnt down because of all the rash of fires recently. It burnt down two or three times when we're here. And the fabulous diaphragmatic redome. What we're going to do this year with the torch run is we're going to have two sponsors. We have Mr. Breakfast from the Snack Bar Lounge. Good morning, Mr. Breakfast. <laughs> And we also have our Torch Bay runner from last year, he did such an excellent job, is Jeffrey Suri. And let me explain to everybody here at home what we're going to do. The Torch Run this year is going to start at the Diaphragm Redome, A.T. Still Memorial. They're going to start running over to Booth Barn to pick up some first bag of groceries. Then they're going to go run up to Keister's, pick up some more groceries, head down to Trash Savers, pick up some more groceries, head down to IGG, Harmon's IGG, pick up some more, and end up over at, at High P, pick up some more groceries, and then, with all that work, they're going to run up to Domino's and pick up some pizza and head on back to a loop to loop back here at the fabulous Diaphragmatic Redome. So, Without further ado, let's go ahead and get that going. The torch run right here. I need a light. A bad light? No, I need a light. No, I want a real light. Let's go for a run, Mr. Breakfast. <laughs> What an incredible return. And they just hit the top. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and show our sponsor real quick. This is the Too Hard Battery, the uh, official sponsor for the 1986 Deal Olympics. And that's good for the Tactical Events Cranial Life Support System team. And Let's go ahead and introduce the judges. One of the judges come on up.